To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. You step back in time at the Napoleon House and also into a story as interesting as some of the mementos on the walls. Francois Giraud bought the building in 1798. When he died, he left the property to his brother, Nicolas, who was mayor of New Orleans. In 1821, Mayor Giraud hatched a plot to rescue Napoleon Bonaparte from exile and bring him to New Orleans to live in the house on Charter Street. Three days before Giraud was set to enact the plan, Napoleon died. The building became a grocery at the turn of the 20th century, and in 1920, it was purchased by Joseph Impostato, who lived there with his family. During Prohibition, he opened a bar in a side room. In 1935, he had tile laid at the entrance, naming the place the Napoleon House. The bar and restaurant were owned and operated by members of his family for more than 100 years. Restaurateur Ralph Brennan bought the business in 2015, and its famous Pim's Cup and Muffalata sandwiches are still on the menu. And it remains a landmark where time almost stands still. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection. Additional support provided by the Gale and Tom Benson Charitable Foundation.